You guys have no idea. I had a stroke of good luck just now. My neighbor came over to watch the kids. I get to go to the grocery store by myself for 20 minutes. Obviously she's totally saving my tail right now because whatever I defrosted for dinner was freezer burnt and it's 12 after five right now. So some of you girls keep talking about my eyebrows not being on fleek, which breaks my heart for sure. But I know those, I know those girls who say that stuff have to not have little tiny children at home because you know what I do every single day I actually take a shower and um, and I shave my legs every day of my life and that's an absolute triumph if you have two little boys who demand to be in the shower with you and who are peeing on your feet at the same time so when I get those comments from girls who obviously have uh, enough time to look at those um, YouTube videos where they're doing like strobing and um, the other stuff where they put brown streaks on their face and blend it all in together I mean um, I don't have time for that. Like, I did my makeup today instead of feeding my children. Okay, I'm kidding. I just don't want anybody to call Child Protective Services. But seriously, like, it's not even easy for me to do makeup in the first place. Most of the time, when I get too much on my face, I look like a transvestite, which is weird because I don't have an Adam's apple. And I don't understand it either. I have no idea why it happens. It could have something to do with my obviously overly formed, um, what, what is that? What's that muscle right there where it looks like I'm a, I'm a Hercules? Like I, I work out and I don't work at that part of my body out. I have no idea what's happening there. Anyways, I kind of think it's funny that I can fire an RPG, but I cannot handle a straightening wand without injuring myself. I think that the girls who talk a lot about the makeup and, uh, and stuff like that are forgetting about the law of diminishing returns. Have you guys heard of that? It's basically means if you're uh, if you're attractive enough for your guy to already like you that you're really not going to get anything else out of being more attractive. So, you know, at some point you just have to be like, yo, I'm good. Now I'm going to go work out and make dinner and do laundry because I don't have time to spend like 40 minutes on my makeup. Okay, I'm about to go buy those drumsticks right now. I am sorry to disappoint all of you who don't think that white women cook but I do cook. Um, I really wanted to keep that stereotype up too, but my husband likes food, and it turns out you have to feed children like all day long. Drumsticks are where it's at, homies, because it doesn't take that long to cook, and they're pretty simple, and they taste good. And I know one of you guys is gonna think it's really cute that I'm so nervous about getting dinner ready. You're like, oh, how sweet, right? right? This is survival. Have y'all been around? somebody with low blood sugar he comes home he's like ah I have to I have to have two meals he has to have tapas and main course every day and y'all think that women are high maintenance really for real you don't have to control my blood sugar come on super fast whoa good trip this jumpoline was the best $41 I've ever spent on Amazon right here because yeah it's awesome it's awesome <laughs> This is our little workout area that they demolished today. So I get to clean this up now. That's nice. Okay, you can't cross there, huh? Yeah. All right, so get your broom. We have to go clean up now. Come on. Let's go super fast. We got 15 minutes. <laughs> All right, you can do it. Come on, sweep it up. All right, good. As a project controller, I know that this is, at this rate, it'll take us another five years to finish this job. <laughs> what up, dude? Hey there, are you recording me? Yeah. yeah. Look at that, carrying my weight, this thing's really heavy. Sorry, I thought you were being lewd, my bad. No, yeah, that's my kettlebell. <laughs> that's what I use for my booty squats. I think I did, when I told you to say that my, <laughs> for real. What's wrong with the chicken? Chicken's back. Hey, I'm recording this. You're supposed to pretend like I'm a good cook. What the heck? You want to eat barbecue sauce? No, sauce. Chicken nuggets. Fine, I'll make chicken nuggets. I put that off on your dinner. You did? No. I actually don't know why that's there, but gross, huh? <laughs> We're currently living in a 700 square foot apartment townhouse thing 700 that's on the downstairs there's a little bedroom upstairs too yeah but it's kind of the perfect size though right 
I think so. I said, do you like our new artwork? Oh yeah, they already saw that in the other video. Yeah, that's a permanent fixture now. I like how they have the masking tape on the corners. <laughs> it looks like something out of a comic book. It's what our table looks like. I was looking at some of these other um, video log things, uh -huh. and their houses always are in like super amazing shape. And so um, <laughs> I don't know how impressive we're gonna be on there. I mean, I think it's in damn good shape for me. It is damn good shape because <laughs> we have two kids. Yeah. You should have seen it earlier. Like we had to do the oh, whole toy picking up drill. Yeah. What you got? A Joby. We cool. are we are becoming fancy with our filming skills over here. I don't think I can attach my iPhone to that. Yes, you can. Um, you screw it in right here. I can show you how. What's that? These panties dropping everywhere. What size are they? Oh god. <laughs> Double, triple, extra, extra, extra <laughs> that's large. Why, that's why you can hear them. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. You're out of control. <laughs> yes, I am. That's what delirium does to you. You haven't been sleeping. So he's been working like 15 hour days, you guys. It, you know, you, everyone knows how it distorts when you get closer to your face, like the fish eyeball, the eyeball, what's it called? Yeah, I use that to my advantage sometimes. It makes everything look bigger. <laughs> wow. So anyways, I actually, that's really creepy because I don't think that you send me dick pics, so I'm not really sure who those are going to. <laughs> I hope this is not going, this part is not going on. I, no, it is. It's going, it's, you bet your ass it is. No, these, the, they want to see how we really talk to each other. Yeah, this is it. There's nothing There's nothing scripted here. Yeah, we suck, basically. Do you guys feel like the eyebrow obsession is a little bit overblown? Like, do any of you guys see a girl walking by and you're like, damn, dog, I've never been faithful, but check out those eyebrows, yo. Just curious, because um, girls are brutal on each other, but they're like, Man, she's kind of pretty, but I don't know. Those eyebrows are twirl. We don't want him to feel left out. That's definitely going to be a conversation for counseling when he's older, huh? What do you want? What are you asking for? He's saying please, please for something. What do you want, bug? You know, this is a good trick. Do you see how skinny I look like this? Don't ever trust these these uh, selfies, you guys, when girls take pictures like this. <laughs> Do you want to go eat your dinner? Go eat your dinner. <laughs> I love you. <laughs> Let's go, let's go pee. Oh my gosh, she's going pee, he's going pee. Come on, let's go, let's go So pee. I guess this is what you guys were asking for, a video blog. I looked at some of the other people who were doing like video blogs and um, they, they were, everything that they were doing was just a lot neater. I don't they, know. It, they kind of were, seemed scripted. I, I'm laughing right now because my child will not put on pants, so yeah. That's kind of what. <laughs> that's kind of what you're gonna be getting out of this, um, I guess. But I really like doing the skits. Anyways, I'm also gonna start putting advertising on my videos if it gets accepted from YouTube, so that um, I can afford a babysitter and go get my hair done. <laughs> I also wanted to um, answer a question that somebody asked um, today about what my thoughts were on dating. Um, a single parent whether it be a mother or father somebody with one or more kids and um, I kind of answered it in the comments but I sort of wanted to address it on my video although you know I'm not an expert on any of this stuff but um, but that kind of parlays into what my answer is none of us are experts on anything that we're doing like the entire thing about life so check this out I think that if you meet anybody who makes your heart skip a beat and um, and you do the same thing for them, then you need to take a chance on them. You just have to remember that um, you have to be careful with a single parent because um, 
Ah. I didn't actually want to eat that. Because you have the children involved. I think that's the only the only thing that you have to consider is just being very respectful with entering the relationship and being the children. And if you exit the relationship, you have to be respectful to the relationship that you have with the children because that's actually a really good point what he's saying is that sometimes when you leave a relationship with with a single parent the um the children want to continue to have a relationship with you so you have to be really adult like in that matter and i think that in general if you're able to treat people with the most respect that you can muster and the most love and gratitude, both entering and exiting the relationship, that that you'll be good. And I think that you should absolutely, under no circumstances, listen to anything that your parents say about relationships. Do not do it. It will absolutely make you miserable.